Ever wish you could capture your screen, your camera, and crystal clear audio without downloading a single extra program, then edit it all in the same place? Well today, I'm going to be pulling back the curtain on CapCut's totally free screen recorder. In the next few minutes, I'll show you how to capture your entire screen with or without your camera feed, then jump straight into CapCut's editor to polish, caption, and export your video watermark free. If you create podcasts, tutorials, reaction videos, or you just want a professional way to digitally present something to your clients, this one tool can save you both time and money. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so now I'm in the CapCut desktop app and you can see right here below where it says create project, it says screen record. So I'm gonna select screen record and now you'll see this uh, box around the exterior of the screen or on the perimeter of the screen and I can move this to just record one individual uh, window or I can record my entire screen by extending it out around the entire screen which is what I'm going to do. Then what we have down here is we have a little box at the bottom. I'm going to move it up so you guys can see it a little bit easier. And this is where we can choose which cameras we want to use and which microphones we want to use. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to select my Shure MV7 Plus, which is my microphone that I have right here. So I'll go ahead and I will select that. And then here for my camera, I'll show you guys that you can select your just regular uh, camera. You can see here in the bottom left, the regular camera from your MacBook, or you can select uh, if you have a Mac, not everyone has a Mac, you can, you know, whatever. You, this is the camera from your laptop. Or you can select your iPhone, right? If you select your iPhone, every single iPhone has, like, the ability to connect to the Mac. So you can use a little bit higher resolution camera here on your iPhone. You can set that up on a tripod or they make little uh, devices that go on the back of your phone and then you can connect that to the back of the clamshell of your MacBook and then the uh, camera will be pointed at you so you can use it uh, that way. Or you can do what I do which is I have a, another uh, mirrorless camera connected through USB-C to my MacBook and that's my Sony a7 IV which you see right here. And again, I can still move this circle around right now and put it where I want. I can make it a little bit bigger if I want. Um, I can actually change it to a square if I want it to be a square instead of a circle. I kind of like the circle. And then the other thing that we want to choose here, I'll show you again here in this little dialog box before we start recording, is under camera, we want to select how we want the files to be saved. So. Uh, you can select camera and screens on separate tracks. And if I shoot it like this, then the circle mask is going to be shot on a separate track from the actual screen itself. And that's kind of cool because if I was to download uh, everything right after I'm done recording, then I'll have two tracks. I will have the one of myself here in the camera, and then I'll have the one of the screen recording. But I can also select camera and screen on a single track, and that's going to bake in this circle wherever I put it. So uh, this is going to be good for people who want minimal editing and people who just want to put out a really quick video. You can just put this where you want it. You can hit record. You can record your video really quick, show off whatever you wanted to show off on your uh, on your screen, and then just export the video and send it to whoever you want, and you are done. So for me, I am going to select that I want them on separate tracks, and I will show you why here in a second. So now we hit start recording. You can see the countdown and now it is successfully recording my screen and it's also recording my face. So let me just show you a couple examples of how I use this. Okay, so the first way that I use this is with forms. So I like to schedule buyer consults and sometimes I like to send out quick videos just um, explaining some of the forms before they get there. That way they can put together their list of questions for me and I can make sure that they get all their questions answered at that buyer consult meeting. Another way I might use this is maybe Maybe I'm creating social media content and I just want to show off one of my new listings or maybe I have a buyer that I think might be interested in this listing and I just want to show off the listing so I can go ahead and go through all the pictures. I can go through all of the updates in the property, everything that's been done to the home since my client purchased the home and they're going to go ahead and see that little circle mask of me in the corner discussing the property with them as I'm going through the photos. Another thing I'll use it for is I'll do these 
annual real estate reviews where I'll go through a past client's property and I will let them know what properties have sold in their area and I'll let them kind of just get an idea of what their equity position is in the current market. Let me just show you really quick now what I do when I'm done using the screen capture software. So uh, what I do once it's all said and done here, let me just open up CapCut again, is we will go back to this tab and here there's a stop recording button. And when I select that now, it's gonna give me a few different options. So it's gonna give me the option to download everything. So I can hit download and what that will do is it will download both of my files. So it will download the video that I shot of my face using uh, the camera that I was using, and then it will give me the video that I shot of the screen recording. Um, but what I like to do is I like to go over here and I like to hit edit more, and this is gonna actually open up the project inside of CapCut itself. So from here, now we have a fully editable project inside of CapCut, and as you can see here, if I select this top layer, I can actually change the size of the circle. I can move it wherever I want, right? Uh, first thing I'm going to always do is I'm going to go to the ratios. I'm going to make sure it's a 16 by 9 or a 9 by 16. However, I want the actual video to look right, depending on if I'm going to be posting it on social media or if I'm going to be emailing it to somebody or if I'm going to be posting it on YouTube or Facebook, whatever. I like to pick my ratio first. But you'll see here I can actually, I just picked 16 by 9, so now I can go ahead and change this ratio to make sure that it fits. I can go ahead and I can put this box where I want it to be. And then the other cool thing is here is if I select my top layer, which is where my circle mask is, I can actually go over to the right where it says mask. And now I can just choose if I want it to be a rectangle, if I want it to be a circle, a square, if I want it to be a star, if I want it to be a heart. It can be pretty much whatever I want it to be at this point because this thing is fully editable. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to leave it as the original circle that it was because that's what I prefer here. Let's just say I wanted to go ahead and, let me turn the sound off, but I wanted to go ahead and I wanted to show a, you know, these pictures or potentially I wanted to show the presentation, whatever it is that I'm showing. And I wanted to uh, cut to basically a point where it just shows me and it doesn't show the presentation anymore. And then I wanna cut back to the presentation. I'm gonna show you how to do that just really quick and easy. I'm gonna select the layer that where I wanna cut it directly to me. And then I'm just going to snip that layer where I want it to cut. Then I'm going to pick a different point and I'm gonna snip it again. Or you can just use your shortcuts and you can uh, snip it that way. My shortcut is C to cut. Um, everyone's is different, but you can always go to your shortcuts here in the top right. You can take a look to see what your split shortcut is, minus C. I set it that way, you can set it to whatever you want. Um, so I'm gonna go to that little uh, clip here that I just cut out. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to mask and I'm going to delete mask one. So I will hover over this and you'll see this little X, I'll click that and now it's deleted. So now I can go ahead and I can extend this across the entire screen, make sure it fills that entire 16 by nine ratio, there you have it. And then what I'll do is I will do a little bit of a transition. So between these two points where I uh, change this from a circle mask to a full screen, I will actually put a quick transition in there. So transitions, I like to use the zooms. So I will do a, um, here, I'll use this one here, it's called pull in the plus sign you can see that it added it here between the two so we'll go ahead and use that one and then I will use the opposite one here at the end of that there you go and as you can see here this is just gonna be me in a circle mask talking about whatever it is that I have going on on the screen and then when it gets to the point where I want it to just show me, it'll transition and now it's just showing me. And so my client now will get that more intimate conversation with me. It's just showing my face. I'm talking to them directly. 
and then we can see here when it gets back to the point where I want to start talking about whatever's on the screen. So let's just say this is like a presentation or something like that. And I'm telling them what their property value is worth or something along those lines. It'll now zoom out and then I can continue presenting whatever it is that I'm trying to present. There's a lot of third party apps out there that do something very similar to this, but I figured we're already using CapCut to edit our videos and do the rest of it. Why don't we just use this free screen grab software that's inside of CapCut because it just makes life so much easier and also it doesn't cost anything okay guys that's a wrap if you've learned something new make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel and if you want to watch my full tutorial breakdown about how to create a circle mask inside of cap cut then go ahead and click this video right here thanks again for watching and i will see you all on the next one